new players drop. We got Goat Giannis. We got Goat Giannis out here. Yeah, we getting into Goat Giannis. We getting into Goat Giannis. We got some more. We got Anthony Davis and Kevin Garnett out here on these Invincibles. These Invincibles go crazy. I want to see what 100 overall Giannis is talking about, what Bo Bo is talking about. We got a Dwayne Wade, too. Dwayne Wade is talking about something. Who else is out here? Oh, Manute Bowl is out here. Manute Bowl, Big Papa Bowl. Okay. Hito Turgaloo out here, too. Yeah, I mean, um, we're going to get into that, but I wanted to see one more thing over here, what was going on. Okay, yeah, that's, that's all it was. The one thing I was tripping off of with this, though, it does say 100K VC. I didn't see, and uh, Carlo brought this up to my attention. It doesn't say anything about MT, so there's no MT. I, I mean, are they doing away with MT? Does that mean that maybe the uh, the auction house and the player market can return? Or they do away with MT? So I don't know what that's going to mean. for. That's going to mean something crazy. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not even going to hold you. That's going to mean some crazy business. And don't forget to go put this locker code in, too. Definitely. But we got them. We got them. We bide our time. And these mythicals are here. Goat Giannis is here. Yeah, I mean, we might open a pack. Matter of fact, we should open a pack. We should definitely open up a pack. But first, let's get into these agendas. What does it take to get these agendas done? It's weekend time. Make sure you go get your unlimited ring. And to get these mythical agendas out of the way, win four games in a row. Easy. Win a game using five bucks players. Win to make, I'm sorry, make 23 pointers over multiple triple threat online games. Get 16 assists with power forwards over multiple multiplayer games. Score 20 second chance points over multiple multiplayer games. Make 24 pointers over multiple clutch time offline or clutch time online games and then complete the mythical spotlight challenges that's easy that's just easy call that's an easy call get those done get those done for sure go out here on the market though it's looking it's not looking too bad it's not looking too bad i mean do i want to open these though do i want to open these what else is going on we still got this elite pack here 200k vc invincibles are out here it looks like rudy is gone y'all had a chance to get that rudy if you wanted that rudy but i don't know i don't know why this elite pack can't be worth some mt too like y'all know y'all can let us work for this off of mt bro anyway i mean do i want to do i want to drop a 20 we drop a 10 we could drop a 10 let's let's knock a 10 out and talk about this kobe situation do you so six weeks left in the game and They've already come out and said that they can't talk about nothing and they're not talking about nothing. I don't think they care at this point. I don't think it matters anymore. I'm off it. I'm really kind of like gearing down on my team. So we might not really get a whole lot of in-depth my team content. I'm kind of charging up for this NCAA game. I mean, I really want to get into that. And I mean, eh, it's the end of the cycle. What can I say? The thrill is gone. The thrill is definitely gone at this point. It's a lot of good cards out here. These invincible cards, these free invincible cards. I mean, it's just too easy. At this point, it's just too easy. I mean, I could come on here and yap about 2K, show y'all pack openings all year and, and be about it all year and then gear down at this point in time. I was kind of gearing down in season seven, honestly. Let me know in the comment section, what point in time did you kind of like gear down with your whole my team run if you were making a run? Um, or when did you start? Because I know I started the season. I started my team late. You know, next next year, well, when 25 drops, I'm keep saying next year, but for what well, it's going to be for all of our next year. When 25 drops, I'm definitely coming out here on my team kind of early. This 10 pack was bogus. That was a bogus 10 box, bro. Anyway, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm jumping on this thing early. You know what I mean? Pause. Pause, no pause. Big pause. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually jump out here early on this uh, on this my team type of situation because I didn't get in here until like season three. I think I'm going to jump out here season one and really run, make a run for collector level. Hopefully they have some type of bring back the, the 250 race or something, the, the 250 tournament or something. I mean, I mean, at this point, it's kind of it's kind of lackluster. Like you see what I got out of that box, bro? 
I got nothing out of that box. So why would I really sit here and really, I mean, when there's so many good cards already out, I'm dominating with the cards I have already. I mean, this, the team is strong. It's really no point in, and in the fact that they, I don't know, the fact that it's six weeks left and we have no Kobe. For that, for that and only that, I'm like, forget it. I'm like, whatever, you tricked us. Or, I mean, even if you didn't trick us, you didn't tell us much. You could have gave us some information and let us know what was going on. Unless you're in court with some, I believe that they're in court. I believe that they're in court, they're going to court, or maybe there's some type of gag. They got a non-disclosure. I don't know. Ain't no telling. At this point in time, it really ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be cool, though. We got that out the way. And y'all like the video, you subscribed, you hit the bell notification, and everything should be all good, right? Good. Tito Turlu out here, though. Let's, let's start with him. 60 Hall of Fame badges, 99 three-point shot, 99 everything. He's a 100 overall card. What's these animations talking about? Hmm, Trey Young escape. I see Trey Young escape on, bro. I see Chris Paul moving step back on, bro. Tito might be him. 6'10", what a small forward, small forward point guard. Hito plays point guard. That's crazy. And that's pretty crazy. Tim Hardaway combo. Kobe's breakdown. I like Kobe's breakdown. That actually goes hard. Um, I mean, what it's looking like, it's looking like some gravy at this point. It's looking like some gravy. Hito might be pretty good. Um, let's let's look at Manute. What is Manute talking about? Center power forward. 40 Hall of Fame badges, seven foot six, center power forward, 88 three point shot. Ah, I mean, it's not looking too good for Manu. 88, 98 rebounding, 98 defense, 78 speed with ball, 78 ball handles, 79 speed, 79 acceleration. I mean, he might be able to move and groove though at, at seven foot six. At seven foot six, he definitely might be able to get out there. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, call it what you want. Call it what you want to call it. He might be a mover and a shaker. He just might. Just might move and shake on something. What uh what are these animations talking about though? Giannis signature size up. Kevin Durant's escape. John Wall's moving step back. 12 dunk packages. I'm not expecting this to be a shooter shooter though, so I don't know. I mean, he he'd be able to move and groove though and do something. He's gonna do something. So, I mean, it depends on how much you really value Manu Bowl. This Giannis, though, this 99 Dark Matter Giannis. Giannis got a gang of cards out here, bro. Look how many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards now. Giannis is out here, bro. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 36 gold badges, 93 point shot on, bro. The, okay, the inside scoring looks pretty good. The defense looks good. 98 speed and athleticism type stuff 94 ball handle 98 speed with ball i'm not i mean i'm not too enthused what is he looking like though escape on trey young john wall moving step back and then this is the this is the power forward center version of bro so yeah i mean it is what it is Giannis jumper is all right it's pretty good on very quick it's not bad uh 13 dunk packages with long athlete layup and i mean i'm not tripping Point guard, shooting guard, Dwayne Wade, though. 6'4", point guard, Dwayne D. Wade. 60 Hall of Fame badges, 15 gold ones, 99 everything out here. Everything? Everything. Trey Young escape on Buddy. All right. He moving and grooving with John Wall step back. James Harden combo. That's not bad. Patty Mills, he got Patty Mills base. Dwayne Wade is going to be a hitter. Patty Mills base with Dwayne Wade upper on very quick. You know what that does. You know what Patty Mills does. These mythical, these mythical cards, not bad, bro. Let's see what Bowl Bowl is talking about. 100 overall Bowl Bowl. It's going to be seven foot two. All right. Center, a power forward, small forward. This is a small forward card. That's crazy. What is this? Um, wait a minute. I skipped over these badges. 60 Hall of Fame badges, 16 gold ones. That's, that's a low count. Trey Young escape, Trey Young combo, De'Aaron Fox signature size up. Kyrie dribble style, actually. Moving step back is on Chris Paul, Jared Allen, and Oscar Robinson on very quick. I'm not sure what that jumper is going to hit like. 12 dunk packages. Okay, big default on the layup. I mean, for a 7-2 small forward, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. 
Giannis's 100 overall card is seven foot. Is that, wait a minute, that a step down from, is that a step down from any of his other cards or are all of his cards seven foot? I'm pretty sure all of his cards are seven foot. These badges though, 60 Hall of Fame badges, 17 gold ones, 99 everything. You know, you know how it goes. Just that 100 overall music. Passing accuracy though is 98. Passing is 98. I mean, huh, it is what it is. Who cares? Giannis on very quick. Steve Francis. I was about to say Steve Young. Steve Francis signature size up. Kyrie dribble style. Trey Young escape move is going to be hot. Um, John Wall moving step back. 13 dunk packages and long athlete. Um, I mean, I guess he could make the team. I mean, a seven foot small forward, power forward, another another small forward that's tall, big. At this point in the game, I mean, it's a toss up. Everything is a toss up. Invincibles, you know, Invincibles get 70 and seven on the on the uh, Hall of Fame badge count, 99 everything. But let's see what Drew Holiday actually has on these. Drew Holiday on very quick. All right. Steph Curry. Steph Curry's escape. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting Steph Curry escape on bro. He's going to be at a Curry slide with that Chris Paul moving step back. Floater specialist. Um, on, How many dunk packages was that? 12 dunk packages on buddy. 6'5", you know, Drew Holiday, 6'5", he makes the team. I mean, I'm I'm trying to get a whole invincible lineup and just run Team USA out here. What is Halliburton talking about, though? What is this card going to be hitting for? 70 and 7 on the badge count, 99 everything, as we know. A six five, Another 6'5 point guard. We're getting a lot of point guards out here that actually have some height to them. Dyson Daniels, lower base. That's one of those bases that folks was using early in the game in the park. Trey Young escape on this dude. John Wall moving step back. He does have pro breakdown and pro moving behind the back. It's a lot of pro in here. Pro hezzy. Pro moving hezzy is crazy. 12 dunk packages with deep ball swing on, buddy. I mean, that's looking kind of watered down with pro breakdown moves, but we can work with the pro breakdown moves. I'm not, I'm not going to be mad at him. Allen Iverson's combo, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. Kevin Garnett, a 6'11 small forward, power forward, another big small forward. I'm seeing that these uh these cards are playing small forward, these big cards. I like that. 99 everything on buddy, you know. You know how these invincibles go. Um dang. We looking at Steve Francis signature size of Kimball Walker escape on buddy. That's different. Um John Wall moving step back. Luka Doncic on that moving hezzy. Garnett on very quick for the jumper. I don't think I like his jumper. I'm not going to lie to you. 12 dunk packages with long athlete. I don't think I like his jumper. I'm not going to hold you. But, I mean, it's, it's Kevin Garnett. So, I mean, he's if you pull him, you pull him. He only has five cards. This is his, his fourth card. He only has four cards. That's crazy. Let's see what Anthony Davis is talking about. A center power forward at 6'10". Another undersized center out here. And they seem to be running. I mean, they seem to run. So, it is what it is. 99 everything, as you know, on these Invincibles. And then let's uh let's take a look at these animations real quick, though. Kobe dribble style is crazy. Escape move on James Harden is crazy. It's pretty crazy to me. I mean, this looks watered down. Anthony Davis jumper on very quick. I don't know, buddy. 12 dunks. 12 dunk packages with long athlete. Eh. Anthony Davis looking watered down. Jimmy Butler's uh moving step back is not bad. I'm not going to hold you, but... I'm seeing Giannis is moving crossover. I would have liked this card to be. I mean, it looks like they randomized this card. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you at all. He got Nikolai Jokic's hop jumper though. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not. I'm just taking a skim through on these cards. Y'all can hit the database and really see what's what. I picked up a few cards. That Vince Carter card is actually him. I'm not gonna hold you. Let's look at this freestyle real quick. Let's get to this freestyle. What did I pick up? I picked up Vince. I picked up, uh, I like, I actually like this Tatum. And then I picked up Chris Bosch. I may have showed you all this though. I mean, oh, we got Jerry Stackhouse. Jerry Stackhouse is actually one of those ones. Who else did we get? We came up here and we got, oh, Ricky Davis. We got Ricky Davis off the bunch too. I don't know if I showed you these cards, but we might as well hop in and spin with them real quick. Because, I mean, it's some, it's some things going on with these two. I'm not going to hold you. Like, these two actually have some, uh, some whoop de whoop today, whoop wop. You know what I mean? Let's get to it. Jerry Stackhouse is a mover and a shaker. Look at that. Look at that. If you know how to move and shake, 
you're gonna have fun moving and shaking with this card you are he's he's a hitter he's one of those ones i'm not gonna hold you new ap big flood look at this jumper bro jumper is solid there is no does that does that jumper look clean let me let me show you from over here let me let me bring jerry stackhouse from over this is one of those ones from back in my day this is from when unk was a little whippersnapper you know what i mean with the jerry stackhouse jersey you know what i'm saying on the schoolyard we used to bring our jerseys to school because like i went to private school but we bring our jerseys to school and actually put them on when we play when we play ball at recess and lunch type Eh, we thought we was that we thought we were those guys you know what i mean i'm looking for some uh i'm looking to get some gameplay out of this card though i'm not gonna hold you I'm not gonna hold you at all what i want to see about this ricky davis is cool too ricky davis is cool i mean these cars don't really spin i'm not getting they're not gonna get no play time because i mean i got some invincibles i mean as far as when i'm in unlimited i play with them offline modes nothing wrong with him this ricky davis is solid though like just just to shoot with i'm feeling it i'm feeling it man look this move right here i love that <laughs> i love that move i love this move you know what i'm saying and then i just step back into that right there bingo oh got him and then step right back into that whoop I love this card. I'm not gonna hold you. Ricky Davis is one of the one of the. Uh, it's just nostalgia for me. What else do I have out here? Hmm. This Paolo was actually clutch. I'm still waiting to get to level 40 and show you that. Uh, I still can't rock with D Rose. I'm still not rocking with this D Rose card. I can't call you Rose. You know what I'm saying? It's terrible. It's terrible for me. The jumper is just. It just. It just never caught on for me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it's the player's size or if I just wasn't moving with him right, but I'm going to give him another chance, actually. I'm going to actually give Buddy a whole another chance, see if we can get something popping with him. Get some pity papping with him. They caught him rolls one time, you know what I'm saying? But uh, who else we got out here? This Paolo, actually. Paolo is him. Paolo is one of those ones. His jumper is a little bit slow. Just a little tad slow, you know what I'm saying? But it works. It works out. This Vince Carter, though, oh, ain't nothing wrong with Buddy. He's a hit rock. He's one of those ones. In my, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, he goes. He flows straight to the rim. And he gets but he has a butter shot. You know what I mean? New AP flood, bottom of the net. Get it out the rim. Ah. Oh, we missed. We missed. I've been having fun, like, in this season eight, I've been having fun. We got, like, six weeks left in the game, and at this point, it's a toss-up. Like, I thought we had nine seasons. I mean, you go to, if you go to um my career, does have nine slots for for the, um. so something is up, because it's nine slots for those floor setters. Floor setters had, it was nine slots, I believe. Let's check that out. Let me not even act too clean. I'm gonna act too too cool for school type. This power forward lock right here. Let me jump in on him. Um, what was I trying to show you? Oh yeah, I know what I was trying to show you. Floor setters. I'm trying to see how many seasons were predicted to be in this game. Honestly, badges. We come over here to floor setters. There are nine seasons, right? Nine seasons. We're in season eight. So by the time season eight is over, it says how many days until season eight is over? Um, let me oh, wait. I got to wait till I walk out of this tunnel real quick. I don't know why that's a thing. That's kind of different. Um, what do I see? The oh seasons. Season rewards. They don't tell you how many. They tell you in my team how many days are left in the season. They don't tell you here. What is this about? 2K? Okay, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? What is this about? Anyway. So it's predicted for nine seasons and roughly what eight weeks per season, what six weeks per season, something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is, I mean, it doesn't look like it's enough time left in the game to get to season nine. So I don't know if like 2K25 is going to come out and 24 is still going to be in season. It weighs 28 days left in this season. So 28 days is what, like that's roughly four weeks. But, um, 
I don't know. So it's going to be two weeks into season nine when two, when 25 drops or are they going to cut season nine short? There's a reward. What? Jimmy Butler is the new reward in what game mode is this? Win games in my team's seasonal modes for a chance to win 100 overall. Jimmy Butler and other probably what are seasonal modes? What? And then they got this on the market. I'm like, why is this even a thing? Who's going to pay 200K MT for this? We got Invincibles on the floor. Like, why would we play 200K? You can get a whole 10 box of Invincibles for less than that. I don't see why that's a thing, 2K. Y'all be trolling. Like, we really need Rudy that bad when we get a free Vince out of the world? That don't make sense. Y'all got to start making it make sense. I'm not going to hold you. Like, uh, I mean, y'all just got to start making it make sense. There's no, there's no way that you're selling Rudy Gay when we got so much going on around here. Let me grab these real quick. That's completed. Let me see what we can get out of that. 1500 I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. And then a prize ball. I like that too. I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going to hate. You know what I mean? We just on my journey. Hey, look, we went through this whole journey this year, you know, having fun getting to it, getting to these buckets, getting to these agendas. You know what I'm saying? We got to a whole lot of agendas. We went through a whole lot of the playbook. You know what I'm saying? Um, we did a lot of stuff. So we just documenting the journey at this point. You know what I'm saying? We documenting the journey and we having fun doing it. I'm not going to hold you. If we search these cards, though, what kind of cards did we get to this year? We got to get the yearly recap. Our only GOAT is free. Well, not free Derrick Rose. Paid Derrick Rose. Paid 10 bucks for Derrick Rose or $20 for Derrick Rose. So, that, I mean, it is what it is at that point. Got a whole bunch of, we got some, we got a lot of free cards out of here. We did pull this. This was our first 100. Clay Thompson was our first hundo. That's crazy. Um, who was our next hundo? I think our next hundo was this uh, Dennis Rodman, the season reward Dennis Rodman. Where is, how do you get to this Jimmy Butler though? How do you get to this one hundo Jimmy Butler? Where is he a? I wasn't made made aware of where you get him from. Jimmy Bone, let me know some. Talk to me. What do you got to do? Get a hundred games in clutch time or something? Can you get him out of clutch time online? I don't know. Make it make sense. Y'all got to make it make sense, 2K. Sometimes y'all be telling me stuff, but y'all don't be telling me nothing. Like, I mean, how is a guy supposed to? I'm supposed to. I'm actually supposed to sit here and search for the answer. I'm supposed to sit here and just search for the answer. This says rewards, refresh. So you've refreshed the rewards. Win games in my team's seasonal modes for a chance to win 100 overall Jimmy Butler and other prizes. And I'm just supposed to know what seasonal modes are. What are seasonal modes? What are you, what are those? So if I'm a new player that has never been here before, I just don't know what you're talking about. So I don't know how to get to Jimmy Butler. You want it that way by design, I believe. What do I have to go to co-op to get, buddy? I can go to co-op and see if that's what it is. Yeah, Jimmy Butler comes out of co-op. So if, I, if I've never been here before, I got to rely on coming to Rick and Forties. I got to subscribe to Rick and Forties and make sure I hit that bell notification and like every video and let every video play from beginning to the end and then go watch another video after that to make sure that he gets into the algo so that he can be boosted up to the next person that doesn't know how to get 100 overall Jimmy Butler and make it to their home screen so that they can also know how they get 100 overall Jimmy Butler. Cause I would have never knew if I wasn't subscribed to rigging forties. Right. I mean, Got it. make it make sense. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.